that. So I'm just taking some Texas toast and I'm gonna lather this right on top of our sheet pan. I have eight of them to go with roast, creamy roasted garlic. It's a mustard spread. Isn't that insane? And I'm just gonna squeeze that. Oh, I'm gonna do it like this, there you go. Right there. So I'm just gonna do a little small little strand on each one. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna add a nice little pop of flavor. And uh, you'll see in just a second what it's adding that flavor to. But look at how delicious and creamy that looks. Juggy's excited. Now I'm gonna take some burgers. These are pre-cooked burgers. I cooked them to a medium rare. Uh, that way when we put them in the oven, they will cook, they, they will cook to a perfect well done. Look at how delicious this is looking. Wow, oh my gosh, look at that, done. Look at how delicious that looks. Now I'm taking some diced yellow onions and I am just gonna do a little pinch full. You don't want too many and you just wanna place it on the center of the burger. Ooh, these onions smell delicious. I like yellow onions over red onions. You could put red onions here. I don't know, let me know, let me know in the comments if you uh, prefer red onion over yellow onion. What do you prefer, babe, you think? Well, yellow onion is for when you're cooking and then red onion is for when you're eating it raw. So that's my- Oh wait, really, that's yeah. a thing? Yeah, that's is how it? I go by it. Oh wow, interesting. Well, I like that philosophy, because we are cooking. Now I'm gonna take some provolone. Uh, the Tillamook provolone has literally eight slices, which is gonna be literally perfect for this. So I'm gonna take this cheese, put it right on top, press it down a little bit, because you do want that cheese to completely engulf that the, those uh, yellow onions. And oh my gosh, once this cooks down, uh, one, yeah, once this crisps up, the, the bottom will crisp up and everything. Oh my gosh, it is so delicious. I'm getting, why are these things even here? You know what, I don't even need these. I hate those things. <laughs> no, nope, honey's gonna get one. Look at how delicious that looks, wow. We're just about done here. I'm gonna take some onion rings. Dude, onion rings are so good. Look at how delicious these look. Yeah. Wow. So I like the bigger style ones. Look at that. These small ones, they won't do the trick because I do have a cool little technique I'm gonna show you. Look at that. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look, that, that, that's like the smallest I'll go. Okay, that's the smallest I'll go. Okay, that, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna use that one. Look at this, wow. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. And lastly, boom, there's that one. And then last but not least, Ooh, a big one. A no, big one. Now, this is where we start having some fun. Yeah, because I was not having fun before this. Okay. <laughs> so funny. I'm using a barbecue aioli, and I am going to put that eventually. Hit the, the back. There we go. Ooh, that looks so good. I'm going to put it right there in the center, and I'm going to do it right here. Oh, why does it squirt out like that? I don't know, it's a new bottle. There you go. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. you can hear Juggy getting excited in the background. Mm -hmm. We even put him, we put him away too. We put him in his kennel. He does have a kennel. <laughs> the, the whole room, my whole room's his kennel. There you go. Look at how delicious this looks. This is some good stuff. I definitely would take a picture of this. This is really good. Wow. Last but not least, Pickles. I like using the sandwich ones because they're like big and juicy and thick, just like we like everything. Oh, Ooh, that's so cute. It literally goes perfect right there, right? Oh, uh -oh, uh oh, that's the butt. We don't want that one. We don't want the butt, please. No butts in this house. Look at that. Wow. This pickle. See, this is this is why we. This is the smallest we'll go, is because even that pickle doesn't fit. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you one thing. These pickles are absolutely phenomenal. Juicy. They're juicy, they're perfect. They're gonna sit perfectly on top of that sauce. And when it cooks, it's gonna all caramelize together. It's gonna be delicious. So this is ready for the oven. I have my oven set to 350 and I'm gonna put it in there since the burgers are already cooked for like not even 20 minutes. Oh my goodness. Look at how delicious they look. I like my burgers well done and I think we achieved that. Which one should I grab? This one? This one looks good. 
So I'm gonna take this one. The onion ring's perfectly crispy, you can just tell. Put it right here on this plate. And I'm gonna cut right into this, huh? You ready? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I like using a bread knife for this. So it's like an open face barbecue provolone onion ring burger. Are you ready? Yeah. Don't scratch the plate. I know, I'm, I'm going slow. I know. I'm always careful about that. I'm just gonna. Oh, it's perfect. That. That's, that's literally a juicy well done. You can just tell it's juicy. I'm so excited. I didn't expect it to come out this good. <laughs> Oh, wait, blow on it. That was, uh, that would hurt. <laughs> I'm getting excited. Is it good? <clears throat> that might be one of the best burgers I've ever cooked. Mm. Oh my gosh. I want one. Wow. Oh, ow. <laughs> 